Hey yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Ten Yasin One and Today I just uh have got something to show you guys which might help you uh, to fix some sort of certain issues. So uh look forward to it. Ah, that's a horrible start. <laughs> So let's get right on to it. So if I open up Unity, you see that I have got I've got this character I made real quickly in Fuse, and uh, uh, you see that he doesn't have any real shadows on his face. So if I were to just rotate the directional light, you know, just kind of rotate it that way. Uh, I don't know what's that. <laughs> Ignore it. <laughs> fail. Epic fail. But yeah, you see that that. Uh, the, 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 the specific area, you know, which is away from the light, directional light, just becomes dark. That's it. You know, it doesn't. It, there, there are no real shadows. But if I were to just kind of go ahead and say, uh, and just scale this character up, so I scale him up all the way. And if I go to his face now, you see there are some real shadows on his face, really detailed ones at that. So you see, there's uh, there's this really nice detail, sharp shadows, and uh, you know, it's pretty amazing how they are they are there and just uh, you know all that stuff. And it looks like he'll just kill you if you just you know betray him this way, or I don't know. Anata <laughs> Okay, but uh, let's just kill him down. Okay. So uh, how do we achieve those shadows without? actually scaling the character because if you scale the character you'll see there are, there would be certain uh, issues like you see his shadow just starts to disappear and that is a value known as shadow distance in the quality settings so if I can just go there and again if I were to just uh, reduce this the, the shadow distance to say 10 I would get the same exact value the same exact effect on his face without actually scaling him up but then again the same issue the shadow with the shadow distances <clears throat> so the way we actually counter this issue, say, is that, uh, let me first show you, uh, we use a specific uh, component, a script, a shader, which uh, has, like, say, there's a proper shadow map, shadow resolution for the entire map, which is, say, divided based on the shadow distance, okay, on every single object where it casts shadows, stuff like that, okay. And with the unique shadows effect, which we're about to use, what it does is that it basically creates a specific shadow map only for the character, only for the object where we want the uh, shadow map to be, the high resolution shadow map to be. So it will have those sharp, um, you know, really sharp shadows, and the entire map will still keep its, its values as it is and all that kind of stuff. So let me just show you guys real quickly. So I have this unique shadow script on, and if I play the game now, you might see that he's got these really smooth and nice shadows. He's got some real shadows, but if I turn it off, it's just back to what it was. And same for the clothing. So he's got some nice shadows on his fingers, as you can just see, and just, just, uh, 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 okay. <coughs> And uh, if I kind of go ahead with all that stuff, you'll just see nice shadows on the fingers, on his clothes there, and if I just disable that, no shadows. And again, enabling it, disabling, enabling. You can just see it makes a lot of difference. Even even on, on the you know the shoes, there, there's those shadows of all that stuff. And naturally, you know, if we uh, rotate the light source, you can just uh, get this amazing effect. Okay. So. So uh, how do we achieve this now? Uh, let's get to the next phase of it finally, just to keep things short. Finally, finally. <laughs> so uh, the way we achieve these shadows is, uh, you might notice I have a script attached to my character's root, and that is unique shadows. Okay, unique shadow script, okay. And this script has a specific uh, shadow map size and then calling distance, and uh, I don't know what this all does, but it's probably the, the way how the shadows, uh, you know, for how much distance so if you say you have a huge character you don't want shadows everywhere you just want it, want them to be about you know really short distance viewing distance kind of let's say so the shadows would disappear uh after you kind of go away from them it's pretty useful 
uh, for for optimization as well. So you can have multiple characters in the scene, have unique shadows, and still not have uh, you know much of a performance loss or anything like that. So uh, the way we pretty much achieve this uh, is basically I'm just going to start off with the fresh character. So I have this character right here, say. Okay, now it has a downside to it. So the 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 unique shadows comes with a, a material uh, specifically made. Okay, whoa, specifically made for this, uh, which is kind of a uh, say uh, altered version of the standard shader which Unity provides. So it's the same shader but with further you know values and alterations. And it's it's I don't know how to pronounce it, but but if I were to select this character, and if I were to just go there go uh, select the shaders, you'll see that there is this option, um, which, which which I don't know how to spell, please, uh, pronounce, please, just just don't, don't, don't sue me for this. And you see there's this shader, uh, shader standard character, specular surface. And if it's like this, then it's the same shader, uh, pretty much the same, uh, if you compare it to standard, there's not really much of a difference, if any, I mean, there is some difference, I think. Uh, it's a specular shader, so so if I just uh, maybe select uh, select this, then you won't be able to see much of a difference. Okay, there's some sort of a difference there. <laughs> I don't know. So so if you select this, and you know the downside it has, which I've noticed, is that if I try assigning a value, assigning a texture in the specular map, then for some reason the settings all just disappear and it starts throwing these errors. I don't know why it is. I'm using Unity 5.5 as of the moment. And I think it is related to Unity 5.5. I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't know if if this issue exists in the older versions, but perhaps not. And again, the unique shadows is not compatible with Unity 5.5, from what I've seen, and I've I've used the fixed off the Unity forums, which I will link to uh, that. I will link to that in the descri description below, and I will I will also link to the unique shadows fix for Unity 5.5. And I'm sorry, I'm just speaking a bit too fast. I can't keep up with my own self. <laughs> so again, we can just just the uh, smoothness values. I'd rather keep it like real less, you know, around point three or something. I don't know. And uh, you know, the, you just you just really need this, uh, this 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 shader. You need because without it, you, uh, the unique shadows won't work for some reason. It's just say a part of it. Okay. So once you have the shader, you can just assign that shader to all the objects you want your unique shadows on, on the character. So I want uh, high detail shadows. I want the clothing to, to cast high detail shadows. I want uh, the shoes, the, uh, the the pants or the bottoms, whatever, and uh, the gloves and everything like that. So I've, I've assigned all those the uh, uh, this this standard uh, character specular surface shader. And once that is done, uh, just give me a second. Okay, sorry for that. Uh, so, um, what you want to do is basically uh, you want to select the root of your character, and you want to assign the script uh, script called so just add component, and you want to search for unique, and you want to assign the script called unique shadow, and once that is done, you'll see there there are certain values and all that kind of stuff. Now, uh, shadow map size is, I, I won't really go through all these, well, it's rather not even any of those, just the starting couples, because I'm not even aware of those myself. <laughs> but the shadow map size is basically the resolution, the shadow's resolution you want on your character. You can increase it for really high detail shadows, but I think this is the optimal value. You can really go with this as well, no, no worries right there. And then there is uh, there's shadow foci. And, and sorry, uh, inclusion mask first. So inclusion mask is all those uh, meshes inside of your character which you want uh, the shadows, the high detail shadows to be on. So say uh, I want the high detail shadows to be on the default. I just select the default and because all the uh, meshes and everything is set to default, they will just have those high detail shadows. But before that, we need to assign, uh, so basically we're, we're making it like, uh, we have a root, so we're, we're we're applying shadows on a skinned mesh renderer, which is uh, kind of different compared to a, you know an object which is not skinned at all. Okay, and the way we go with it is that basically uh, we we go to the shadow foci and just increase the size. Which I'm gonna say one, and you sign the 
basically the root bone of your character, not this, the root bone, uh, the one object which contains all the other bones. And for, in my case, it's uh, hips. Make salmon break hips, and I just assign them to the target. And then I can just uh, just increase the radius, say one, which means that everything uh, in this particular volume will receive shadows. And for some reason, you can just see that the hands are not being covered properly. Uh, so I can just go with maybe a higher value, say 1.25 uh, or something. And uh, so everything covered in this radius will receive shadows, basically. And I don't know about this, but for some reason, these values were set to, uh, this was set to 0 0.25, uh, and it was set to 0 0.001, so I'm just going to want to keep all those values because, you know, I've, I've, I've yet to do my research. And once that all is done, what we need to do is we need to go to our uh, directional light. Now, I don't know about the point lights, but it is for directional lights. I think point lights in, uh, by default would um, probably probably cast those high detail shadows, but let's not go there. So you need to assign the unique shadow sunscript to your uh, directional light. And once that is done, you're all set. So say if I just disable that character and I just kind of try running the game. And uh, there we go. I, th I think I think there we go. But uh, <laughs> there it is. There are we are our, our our shadows, our detailed shadows. I'm just I'm just I, I feel stupid. Uh, okay, just, let me just zoom into the character. Come on. Okay. Well then. <laughs> so if I were to rotate them this way, it will be they will be more visible. So you can just see the shadows. There they are without it and with them. And they are on, uh, I think, pretty much everywhere. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, all sorts of materials which have, uh, or all sorts of mesh renders which have this, uh, you know, shader, uh, standard shader, standard character shader, which I just uh, mentioned earlier. And, you know, all sorts of characters which have that, those, and it, it will just have those nice shadows then. So yeah. Pretty much casts everywhere. And, you know, you can just uh, edit it around, mess around with the values yourself. And so say if I want to just go and I just want to make the, the shadows really sharp. Uh, perhaps like that, 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 that kind of sharp, maybe that's too sharp. And perhaps I want to just kind of go ahead and just make the shadows really detailed. You know, say uh, that much of a value and just to reduce that. And you can see you got these nice sharp shadows on my character. Uh, with not much of a much of a work or anything, I don't know. <laughs> and yes, pretty cool, really damn cool. And he will kill you if you just if you anger if you, if you made him. But yes, uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And if you're wondering how I uh, give him this nice, uh, you know, it's maybe a bit too uh, exaggerated in the hair or trav fading using the fading thingy so I'm guessing that's because of the reason why it's not right but how I'm basically adding this nice uh, subsurface scattering then uh, watch it from my, uh, watch out from my next tutorial where I will probably mention that uh, basically a shorter tutorial hopefully because I'm just not good at making short videos for some reason I talk too much stop it Yasin but yeah then again if uh, without the Scattering is probably better because, because the scattering is a bit too intense. We should probably reduce it to like as much this value or something like that. But it really does add a nice effect, so you can't deny that. Trust me. Uh, and this isn't the shader. This is uh, <laughs> a image effect. <laughs> Amazing, right? You can even add a mask to it. But anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed. And again, this is free. The shader, the skin shader, the skin effect thingy, the subsurface scattering. It was free as well, or is free as well. And it's all free. Uh, the character itself is made from a fuse, Adobe Fuse. It's free, everything's free, blah, blah, blah. Yay, free stuff. Yes, I, I've, I'm really planning on making the FPS tutorial. And I'm planning on releasing my project files, uh, you know, for each of my tutorials, uh, like, in the future once I reach 1,000 subscribers, which is really close, surprisingly, and I'm really happy about that. <laughs> so yeah, keep up, uh, keep liking my videos if you like them, dislike them if you like them. <laughs> if, if you dislike them. <laughs> okay, don't dislike them if you like them, okay? Just, and subscribe if you wanna see more, and comment if, if you wanna 
you know, ask something, request for tutorials. And then again, I will probably just make short videos until my exams are over, which is about around 22nd of December. So that will be quite some time. Yeah. <laughs> 22nd of December. Wish me luck. <laughs> that uh, hopefully I, I, I will get them A's because I'm an Asian and I need to get them A's. But yes, I will secure the maze for glory, for a for being an Asian, uh, and uh, hopefully uh, I uh, don't know what I will do. But yes, I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm decent in maths, by the way. Okay, and I do like maths. Okay, I'm an Asian, and I do like maths. <laughs> don't hate me for that, please. Please don't hate me for that. Like Matt's, that that was a confession, and I really like Unity 5.5. So highlight, don't, don't lie. So uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Then peace out. <laughs>